Hello, I am Akshi Batra from Mulana Azad Medical College, India, and I am honored to present the project on cardiovascular safety profile of taxanes and vinca alkaloids based on 30 years FDA registry. On behalf of all the authors, antimicrotubular agents are one of the most commonly used classes of chemotherapeutic agents, but the risk of cardiovascular adverse events due to these agents remains unclear. The main objective of this study was to determine the types and relative risk of cardiovascular complications. We used real-world data through FDA adverse event reporting system to study cardiovascular adverse events in adults from 1990 to 2020. The reports that did not specify patient's age or sex were excluded. We further compared the reported cardiovascular events due to single agent either taxane or vinca alkaloids alone to combination therapy with at least one of the four major and commonly reported cardiotoxic agents the four combination agents included were anthracycline her2 inhibitors tyrosine kinase inhibitors and checkpoint inhibitors Over 30 years, 137,398 adverse events were reported. 13.4% of these events were cardiovascular in nature. 74.1% of these cardio events were due to taxanes and 25.9% were due to vinca alkaloids. As we can see in table 1, Majority of the cardiac events belong to 60 to 79 age group and 63% of the taxane related cardiac events were reported in females whereas males had higher cardiac events in vinca alkaloid group. Figure 1 shows that in 30 years there has been a reduction in proportion of the reported cardiovascular events for taxanes from 15% in 1990 to 11.8% in 2020. However, For vinca alkaloids, the events marginally increased from 9.2 to 11.7 percent. Table one shows major taxane-related cardiovascular events included hypertension requiring hospitalization at 25 percent, venous thromboembolism at 21.4 percent, and heart failure at 16.9 percent. Vinca alkaloid-related major uh, cardiac events were heart failure at 24.3 percent. venous thromboembolism at 22.9% and hypertension requiring hospitalization at 20.1%. Table 2 shows that the proportion of reported cardiac events among all reported events was lower in taxanes at 11.4% compared to taxane based combination at 17.9%. Similarly, the proportion of reported events was lower in vinca alkaloids monotherapy compared to combination therapy in conclusion anti microtubular agents are associated with cardiovascular adverse events especially in combination therapy this safety profile is very important in consideration of cardiovascular risk assessment of cancer patients this report is the first attempt to create a knowledge base for anti microtubular agents related cardiovascular adverse events to the best of our knowledge thank you so much please feel free to comment your questions via chat or via email and uh, hope you have a great day